If you want more episodes, please like and subscribe. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, Sinatra, don't got it. How about this for a campaign slogan? You snooze, you lose. So don't sleep through this election. Vote for Brendan Small for president of the student council. It's it's good. Thanks. But, you know, a campaign slogan should be something short and catchy, like uh, Nixon's mm -hmm. the one, or uh, I like Ike, oh. or, you know, something like all right, that. All right, all right, I know? get it, I get it. How about this? Yeah. Vote for Brendan Small for student government president because no job is too big for the boy they call small. Brendan Small, that is, so vote for him for president. That's of better. Of the student council. Yeah, that's good. You know, uh, hey, how's the poster coming, Jason? I drew a train. And then I drew my mom in the corner. How is that going to get Brendan elected? Oh, I don't know. Well, it looks good. Thanks. Um, Brenda. Yeah? How about this for a slogan? Think big, vote small. Uh, mm -hmm. I yeah. don't know. So the playground issue almost became my Waterloo. Oh, man, I hear you. But with some good old-fashioned 11th hour politicking, I was able to secure my legacy. You know, one time I tried to secure my legacy, but it got away. <laughs> got away. Yeah. Do you know that I have run unopposed in the last three elections? You ever do one of those three legacy races? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Tomorrow, I'm going to beat the pants off you, small. Well, then I guess I won't bother wearing any. And try not to cry when you lose. Well, thanks for your advice. And uh, let me just say this. Yeah. Now, don't misunderstand me. Adjectives are good, but one, two, eight adjectives in a row are more than enough to describe some little red boat. It's a big green boat. Whatever. You get my point. Excuse me, Miss Small. Do you think we could have a break now? I'm hungry. Actually, I was hoping to get through most of these papers first. Can you wait until then, Susan? I'm Julie. I'm Susan. Can I take a break? Listen, I really want to plow through these papers. A break Come would on. Be nice. break would please. Be nice. I mean, please. we're supposed to get please. a break anyway. Come I mean, on. Can I just take it a little Call bit? it! What is it with you people? What, what is this, some sort of a joke? Every time it's always something. It's always whining, whining, whining. All you want to do is go outside and smoke your cigarettes. I know that's what some of you do, and you should quit because they're bad for you. F fine. Take your little break. But remember this. I'll be damned if I'm going to waste my time on a bunch of smokers. Surprise! Surprise! Guess what? You are going to have a nicer touch all that month. Really? Me? <laughs> Nicest? Wow, that's, uh, that's really, wow. Hey, somebody got a sign for this. Okay, keep the camera low and aim it up so I look tall, because tall is good in politics. And, you know, Thurman Thackeray is tall and Lincoln was tall, so... Well, his hat was tall. When Lincoln took it off, he was a midget. Yeah. So, Brendan, what's your platform going to be? I think Brendan should use this box. No, uh, platform is in political platform. Yeah, right, this box. Wait a minute, he's right. This box is my platform. Forget it, let's get started. Action! Hey, I say action. No, I'm directing. Right. Stand on the box. And action. 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 Go. My fellow American students... <clears throat> Take two. Take two. Action! My fellow American students, it's time for our school to move into the next millennium. Even though we did sort of already. I'm talking about learning from videos instead of books. Books can hurt your eyes. Friends, has this ever happened to you? I can't read anymore. The words burn my eyes. Please read the top line, sir. I can't. I can't read anymore. Just as I thought. You are reading too much. You'll have to wear glasses, and people will make fun of you for the rest of your life. They'll call you four eyes and idiot. Then forget the glasses. I won't read anymore. Then they'll just call you idiot. Okay, how about laser surgery? Well, that's fine if you don't mind growing an extra arm. I don't mind. It will help. Out of your eye! Oh, my God! Next time, you should just watch a video about history instead of reading about it. Then you'll learn the exact same thing, but without your eyes going bad. That's not a bad idea. What do you think? There you have it, folks. So remember, think big, vote small. Brendan Small. And don't vote for Thurman Zachary. All right, so how many of you showed up yesterday and waited around for me in the pouring rain? <laughs> Gesundheit. All right, so pretty much everybody. Good. Well, the reason I didn't make it was I was out very late the night before, all right? Doing what? Explanation over. What were you doing, Coach McGurk? Oh, it looks like I got a heckler. What? My first uh, lady, let me remove my brain so we can uh, start as equals. Hey. 
<laughs> hey, uh, nice outfit. Some uh, motel somewhere is missing a shower curtain, huh? Coach. Who does your hair, Picasso? Huh? Coach. Who does it? Honestly, who does your hair, lady? My dad. Who's your dad, Picasso? Hey, Coach, uh, Melissa wasn't heckling you. Oh, look at this, folks. We got stereo hecklers. Hey, pal, I don't bother you when you're working, all right? I don't have a job. I don't go down to the bus terminal and pee on the seats while you're trying to clean them. What? Because you work there. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're doing comedy? Not just comedy, Brendan. Stand-up comedy. But you're not funny. What? What? What are you talking about, Brendan? I mean, uh... People around here a lot of times say, McGurk, you're, you're kind of funny. Yeah? You know, and people, some of the teachers think I'm funny. Who? Well, you know, when I go into the teacher's lounge and I'll say something, people will laugh and they'll be like, well, you should do comedy. Oh. All right? I have weird observations about things. Right. That are meaningful. Uh-huh. And uh, I need to get them out there. Yeah, um... You know, I heard it was also a good way to get things <clears throat> off your chest. You know, I got a lot of anger, Brendan. Yeah. And I need to channel that anger. Yeah. Usually I just have a few drinks in my apartment. Yeah. Start yelling and then pass out. Yeah. Well, this is a way to bring that energy from my apartment to the public, to the people. Uh, well, what about soccer and your actual job? If I make it as a stand-up, I won't need soccer. Mm. Even though I'm touting myself as the soccer comic. Mm. This is what I do, Brendan. I go up in my coach's outfit, my whistle, yeah. and the soccer ball in my hand. I set up a goal. Uh -huh. It's pretty funny, isn't it? I would have to see it. No, well, Brendan, the whole point is, is that it's out of the element. You know, you're used to seeing me here because I'm, I'm, I am a soccer coach. I know. But you take that same soccer coach and put him in a different environment, that's funny. People laugh. Do they? They did. When? At the beginning. Then what? Well, then I told jokes. Then they didn't laugh. Ouch. But the, you got to start somewhere. You started with the outfit. Right. Da 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 Brendan Hale, future president. Shannon, uh... Hi, uh, um, what are you, what are you? Relax, I just wanted to come by and wish you luck in tomorrow's election. I think you're gonna beat Thurman Thackeray as I would. Wow, um, well, you know, uh, I appreciate what you're saying, but I really don't think I have one heck of a chance at all, so, uh... Brendan? Yes? You need more confidence. Well, I... You mark my words, you will win, and when you do, I will be there. Okay, I'm just gonna back away slowly... Okay. Mom, I know you're proud of your flowers and all, but can't we just move them to the other side of the uh, city? No, I like them here. What were you saying? Move the flowers. Before that. Uh, this meatloaf is dry. No, before that. This is meatloaf. Before that. This fish is dry. No, something about the election tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the election's tomorrow, and I think I'm going to be humiliated in front of the whole school. Well, Brendan, being humiliated doesn't matter. The important thing is the whole school will be there. Yeah. Oh, my God, look at these flowers. How much do you think these cost? Mom, do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, if this election goes badly, I might have to change schools. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm thinking minimum $60. I mean, the flowers I got for my Aunt Faye after she was mauled by that bear cost $50, and they were nothing, nothing compared to these. Mom, will you forget about the damn flowers? Brendan, watch your mouth. Brendan, you still there? Yeah. All I can see is flowers. Oh. Hey, Melissa, what's going on? Brendan, you won! What? You won the election, you're president! I won? Yeah! I did? Yes! Oh my gosh, I have won! I'm the president! Oh my god, I really am! Thank you, everybody! Oh, thank you, everybody! Oh, this is fantastic! Congratulations. Small. Oh, uh, Thur Thurman, um... You won. Yeah, I, uh... Thurman Thackeray, everybody! Yeah. He lost and I won! Can you believe it? <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, my, I'm the president. I can't get over this. I, I really, yeah. I really am. Brendan. Shannon. Congratulations. I think you're going to make a great president. Oh, uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, I, uh, 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 uh. Didn't I tell you you were going to win? Yeah. Yeah. You did say I was going to win, didn't you? And because I was with you from the first, yeah. I humbly beseech you for a position in your inner circle. Huh. Brendan. Right. No, <clears throat> Brendan, tell him he's nothing but a troublemaking bully, and we don't want that kind of riffraff on our staff. Um, Melissa, let me put this into my own words, if you don't mind, okay? Take care okay, of just, it. Uh, I will, all right? Just hold. Shannon? Mm -hmm. Welcome aboard, my friend.
Shannon, what are you doing in the hallway during class time? What are you doing in the hallway during class time? I'm asking you, what are you doing in the hallway during class time? What are you doing in the hallway during class time? What are you doing in the... My students locked me out, but that's neither here nor there. No, what are you doing in the hallway during class time? Official student government business, Flatfoot. Well, do you have an official student government business hall pass? Right here. Hmm. Well, uh, everything seems to be in order here, but, uh, we... All know you're the one that broke into the cars and stole the CDs. I, uh, myself lost all my Frank Sinatra. I love old blue eyes. Oh, well, then you'll be glad to hear that I'm going to be keeping an old blue eye on you, Shannon. A, a big, wide-open old blue eye. That's gross. Yes, it is, Shannon. Yes, it is. Uh, Brendan, can I have a word with you, please? Can I have a word with you, please? Huh. Huh? Uh, 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 oh. uh. Look, <clears throat> Brendan, uh, rumors are flying around the school that you and Shannon cheated on the election. What? That's crazy. And uh, I know that he's the one who stole my entire chairman of the board collection. Oh, I didn't know you collected those guys. Uh, Brendan, I'll be frank with you. Sinatra? Huh. You know, being associated with Shannon is just the uh, sort of thing that can keep you out of a good film school. Uh, that and a uh, nasty anonymous letter from me... Think about it, Brendan. Oh. You have to get rid of Shannon. Get rid of him, Brendan. He's a troublemaker. You have to fire him. He's not a good person. He's mean. He's always threatening to de-pants me. Brendan, people are afraid to talk to me because of him. I'm afraid to talk to you because of him. Shannon's a bad apple. Yeah, he's a bad seed. He's a bad apple seed. He's bad apple sauce. He's bad apple pie. He's bad... Apple crisp. Hi, everybody. Hey, well, hi, Shannon. Shannon. How you doing? Yeah, we're we were just, just talking about hey. you. Nothing about apples, I hope. Oh, no, no, no. no. Why would you assume that? You look really good. Um, yeah, you don't look bad. No, you look good. You look really good, Shannon. <laughs> we better <laughs> anyway, get going. Anyway, we should get going. Uh, yeah. Shannon's evil, and now I'm evil. I'm my own evil twin. Brendan, let me just say, as someone who was voted best teacher of the year, whoa, you need to take whoa. responsibility. Mom, Mom, it was nicest teacher of the month. Huh? Nicest teacher of the month. Month, year, same difference. I'm still the best oh, ever. Oh, Mom! Oh, thank God these things are almost dead. Flowers! Are you old enough to sign for this, little boy? <sighs> All right, yeah! Please welcome to the stage, he's a newcomer, please be gentle, John McGee! Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's actually McGurk. John McGurk. So, uh, how, how's everybody doing tonight? So, folks, you know, uh, you know you're not allowed to uh, double park in front of a bank? I didn't know this. I, I double parked and they towed my car. It's very embarrassing, because... I come running out of the bank because I robbed it. And I see my car on the back of a tow truck. I'm thinking, at least I can afford to get it back. <laughs> then I got to ride, rob the bank. <clears throat> All right, check my notes here. Uh, hey, what's with classical music on the radio? When are they gonna stop that? I mean, does anybody still listen? No, get rid of it. I mean, I mean uh, can we agree on that? When's that from? I mean, there's oldies, and then there's oldies. I don't want to hear music from 1640. All right. <clears throat> What's with these pictures of, uh, you know, missing kids on the milk cartons? Uh, you know, I'm eating my cereal in the morning, and um, I see this, you know, missing kid. Well, thanks for depressing me. You know, it's going to be a good day. I guess I should go look for a missing kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a funny one. So I, a few weeks ago, I was in a hotel room, right? And, uh, you know, hotel rooms offer that, you know, porn on television, you know? I order it up, and my mom says, hey, turn that off. Because she, <laughs> she was in the hotel room with me. I was with my mom. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Classical music. How am I doing on time here? Can you keep it going? That's it? All right, folks. Uh, well, I've been, uh, I've been John McGurk, the soccer comic. Thank you.
Brendan, are you all right? Mom, can we move the flowers and have an actual conversation where we make eye contact? No, I like the flowers on the table. When I was growing up, my mother would never let us have flowers uh, on the table. She said they were dirty, carried disease, sucked up all the oxygen. Ridiculous. Mom, mom, there's ants on the table. What? Ants. Oh, my God, it's these filthy flowers. Well, the dead cat thing is funny. You listening to me? You know, you should use, like, a stuffed animal and take all the stuffing out so it's all flat. You know, and then when you talk about the cat getting run over, the audience sees what you're talking about. You got to get them into your world. You know what I'm saying? The thing it, I did about the pimple is funny, right? I mean, I know it needs, but it's, you know, right? I think I need a tag or something on the end, like something that says to the audience, here's the funny... Yeah, man, I'm really working up a thirst. Teddy! What's his name? Why is every bartender named Teddy? <laughs> it's like they uh, breed him in, uh, somewhere in the Midwest. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys want another one? Come on, stick with me. Okay, uh, so, Shannon, you're not in this part yet. Okay, nice camera. Thank you. Good resale value, I'm guessing. Uh, thanks. Okay, Jason, Melissa, places? Uh, Brenda, does your house have any kind of alarm system? No, I, are you kidding? Wait, I mean, maybe. Do you have any, uh, big, vicious dogs? No. Hmm, that's interesting. But we've got a lot of ants. Ants? Um, yes, they're, uh, special security ants. Hmm. From Argentina. Uh-huh. Brandon? Yes. Jason and I are all set. Okay, well, let's do this. Um, action. Hurry up, Clyde. The coppers are coming. Um, I can't, Bonnie. I can't break into the car because I can't open the door. I thought you were a criminal. I am. I stole this coat hair, didn't I? The cops are coming, Clyde. Hurry. Oh, my God. Cut. Wait, just cut. Um, that's, uh, it's not, not working. It, uh, it doesn't look real. Um, I'm not buying it. Gosh, we really need somebody that knows how to, uh, break into cars for real. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. That would definitely yeah, that would help. really help, yeah. wouldn't it, guys? Don't look at me. <clears throat> Huh. I don't know the first thing about it. I just break the window. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. Yeah, I didn't think to do that. Do you mind saying that again? Okay. Um. Well, I just smashed the window and opened the door. That's the easiest way. It's uh -huh. how I broke into Mr. Lynch's car, and I took all his CDs. He had a lot of Sinatra CDs, and I also broke into the principal's car, but, right. uh, you know, she left the door unlocked. Uh, so you didn't have to smash the window? No, I, I guess I didn't have to. Shannon, how come you do that? Is she kidding? I am the criminal element. I'm your worst nightmare, baby. It's what I do. You don't steal, I do. I don't play with dolls, you do. You don't break into cars, I do. Yeah. Why, well, look, I'd love to stay in chat, but my serotonin levels are kind of nosediving. You know, I got to get some stimuli before I crack up. Sorry, guys. It's kind of Dullsville here, you know. Okay. Good luck with this thing. Right, All right. Guys, we did it. We did it. We did it. Can you Caught hear me? We got him on tape. tape. Yes. Cell door closed. That is right. We, we got, got Shannon. Shannon. We, we got, got Shannon. Shannon. Right, right in the cannon. cannon. Right, right in the cannon. cannon. Uh -huh. We got Shannon. We got Shannon. Right in the cannon. Right in the cannon. Take care. Bye bye, kids. Bye. Bye. <sighs> I gotta go for a walk. Watch a jerk. Coach McGurk? Brendan, what are you doing in my house? You're on the beach. What are you doing on my beach? Oh, beach. Oh, man, not again. Why are you sleeping on the beach, Coach McGurk? Because comedy's tough, Brendan. Well, you, uh, you don't look so good. Well, I feel fine. Actually, I have a pounding headache. There's a fish in my pants. Um... You know what, Brendan? I can't live like this. Yeah. I can do stand-up without the binge drinking. <clears throat> or I can just stop the stand-up. Do the drinking, because I like that part. Right. But, you know, I can't do both. I gotta take a stand, Brandon, one way or the other. Yeah. I got to take a stand. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor, will you? What's that? Help me stand. <clears throat> That's not gonna happen. Thank you all for coming here today. We go to school here. Well, okay. I want to apologize for the reign of terror that has gone on because I did not take the proper actions. What's he doing? Something he should have done a long time ago. Therefore, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday. Okay, noon today. It's 2.30. All right. Um, 2.31. I, I shall resign officially at 2.31. Today. Why is Brendan resigning? Because he knows it wasn't a fair election, Shannon. You beat up Thurman and stuffed the ballot boxes and threatened everybody. No, I didn't. 
You didn't? No. Well, then what happened to Thurman Thackeray? I don't know. Maybe he fell. He's a stupid, clumsy kid. And so now I turn the office of the presidency over to the man who should have won. Ladies and gentlemen, Thurman Thackeray. <laughs> well, look at that. He's uh, not getting up. So anyway, I'm still going to resign. Any questions? Anybody have any um, requests? Can we get pizza more? Pizza more. I have no idea what that means. Next question. Ketchup a vegetable? Very good question. Ketchup is actually a fruit. It's a magical fruit. But you did steal all those supplies and beat up those kids and stole the CDs? Yeah, because that's what I do. I'm a thug. We've been over this. What is so hard for you to understand? From outer space. Next question. Yo, sir. Looks like we've got a heckler in the audience. Why don't I take off my head and remove my brain? We'll start out as equals, huh? Hello? Shut up! I don't think that's a question. So what's with uh, women and crying? No, oh, man, you suck. Yeah, thanks, Mom. And my mother, ladies and gentlemen. I remember my first drink, too, lady. <laughs> so anyway, folks. Yeah, I remember your first drink, too. You were three and you drank your father's gin. Oh, my God. It really is my mom. You know what sucks worse than you? What? Nothing. Wow. This is awkward. So, uh... Boo! All right, Mom, I get the point. Boo! Uh, um, anyway, I've been uh, John McGurk, the soccer comic.